everyone, it's Shannon Rose. I suffer from panic attacks and anxiety disorder. I've had this since I was 17 years old and I'm 29 now, so I've had it for quite a while. It's still really hard for me to deal with. I've done a ton of things to try to help it such as working out, meditation, cognitive therapy, daily medications, breathing techniques, and diet changes. I really wanted to just show you guys how I have been able to cope with my anxiety. Normally I have them in the car. I was in a really bad car accident. I don't know if it has to do with PTSD. I've learned that when I start to feel it coming on, if I turn the air at full blast and have really cold air coming at me, I feel like it's easier for me to breathe and I don't feel so claustrophobic or I literally feel like I'm gonna die when I have a panic attack. I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like something's seriously wrong with me internally. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I'm embarrassed. It's awful. Panic attacks, anxiety attacks, if you've had one before, you know they are like the most awful thing ever and it really sucks and I feel so sorry for anybody that has to deal with that. So I really hope that this video helps you a little bit. I also let the person know that I'm with, that I'm having a panic attack. That way they can try to talk me through it. If this is somebody that knows me very well, if it's someone I don't know very well, then I feel even more uncomfortable and I'm embarrassed to say anything. So I probably won't say anything. If it's like my boyfriend or my mom or my sister or something, they're really good at telling you, you're fine, just breathe, everything's gonna be okay, it's gonna go away, there's nothing really wrong with you, and that really helps. So if you have someone close to you that knows that you suffer with these things and you can tell them what to say to you when you are having it to help calm you down, when that happens, just talk to me. Just let me know in a calm voice that you're okay, just breathe, I'm here for you, you know, nothing bad is gonna happen, and you're just having a panic attack. For some reason that seems to help me. Another thing is, if I'm ever traveling or I'm going somewhere, I like to find out where the nearest hospitals are, and I know that sounds so crazy, but if you have anxiety, you might have done this also. You always wanna know like where's the nearest hospital. That way, for some reason, it just makes you feel better inside. It's not like you're gonna to go to the emergency room, which I've done on multiple occasions because I think that I'm dying, and then they just tell me when I get there that I'm having a panic attack. Knowing that there's a hospital close by and knowing in my head that I know it's not too far away really helps me, so that's another thing that I do. If I can get out of the situation that I'm in, that I'm having the panic attack, I remember, you know, I was in a situation that I felt like I can't really get out of. A lot a lot of times that will trigger me to have a panic attack. If I feel like I'm trapped somewhere, I'm stuck somewhere and I can't leave when I want, don't put yourself in those positions. I've just taught myself, don't do it. Eating vegan, changing my diet has helped tremendously with my anxiety. When I switched over to vegan, I had a lot less anxiety and panic. So that's definitely something that helped me a lot. Getting an allergy, food allergy test. Sometimes anxiety and panic attacks can have something to do with your thyroid and adrenal glands. And I found out from my doctor after a lot of blood tests that I was allergic to a lot of the foods I was eating and it was damaging my adrenal glands and that was causing me to have panic attacks and anxiety. With that being said, definitely try to change your diet or get an allergy test to find out if you're allergic eat healthier that helps. If you haven't already gone to therapy for it, I really suggest talking to somebody. For a lot of people, this can help them. I don't want to say it's not going to make your panic attacks go away, but it didn't make my anxiety and panic attack go away talking to a doctor. But sometimes it's just nice to be able to talk to somebody about it who understands. And if you can't afford to go to a doctor, you don't have health insurance, find somebody or self-help groups or groups online that of other people that suffer with panic attacks and it's so nice to be able to talk to somebody else that goes through the same things you do. I know a while ago I was watching a YouTube video that Zoe Zoella put up. I'm sorry, I, I think her name is Zoe, but I think her channel is Zoella. She had put up a video talking about anxiety and panic attacks and listening to somebody that I don't even know talk about that, somehow it made me feel so much better just to know that I wasn't alone and there are other people in this world that suffer with these two and it's hard, you feel like you're all alone and you feel like you're going crazy, especially if you don't know anybody else in your close circle or friends or family that have that or deal with that. And it makes it even harder when people are mean to you about it. Okay, and the last thing is Xanax. So I know a lot of people are against medication. I personally am terrified to take medication because it gives me anxiety and panic attacks. I don't like taking any pills because I'm scared I'm gonna have a bad reaction. It triggers me to have anxiety and panic attacks and I know this about myself. So you, you know yourself well enough to know certain things that will cause or trigger panic attacks, like drinking, you know, getting drunk or drinking alcohol. The next day that can really cause 
panic attacks so that's why I just don't drink anymore not getting enough sleep so try to avoid those situations what I wanted to say about medication was I have been prescribed Xanax from so many different doctors and I was so scared to take it for so many years because I didn't know how it was gonna make me feel I knew I was gonna get anxiety if I even took the pill to begin with so there was all these different things that made me not want to take the Xanax but I ended up filling it one time a doctor prescribed it to me and just carrying it with me and knowing that I have it in case I need it and it will make my anxiety or panic attacks go away makes me feel so much better. I ended up taking half of my Xanax, which the Xanax I'm prescribed is the lowest dose that they can give you. So I took half of that and I was able to relax and calm down. And for people that are scared to take the medication, don't be scared. Just try it when you're with somebody that you're comfortable with. I will never take a new medication, a new vitamin, anything like that, unless I'm with my mom or Travis or my sisters. I feel the most comfortable with those people. And I know that if something bad were to happen to me, that they would be there with me and take care of me and I would be okay. Once I take it, I know and I know that I'm okay and it didn't kill me or give me an allergic reaction or all the crazy things I think about when you have panic attacks and you think of all the worst things that could possibly happen to you. That's when I'm able to be able to take it. So do I take Xanax every time I have an anxiety or panic attack? No, I do not. But just having it with me makes me feel better knowing that it's there. Does that make sense? I hope that this video helped you in some way. If it didn't help and you knew all the things I told you, at least you know that you're not alone in this world and there are other people out there like you that suffer from this. I know for me that makes me feel better. If you guys have anything that you guys want to tell me down below that helps you, I would love and really appreciate if you guys shared that with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I love you all so much. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video.